how do you do price in the right way? You need to introduce some kind of benchmarks that will help people to uh, see where, whether what they are pricing is consistent with historical performance, right? And this is how you do it. The file you see on my screen is a template built with uh, ChatGPT. And so on this tab, I have um, different kind of um, uh, activities, uh, roles, and equipment, and materials. So like, you know, table right here, it shows, you know, how much, uh, what the rates are for each uh, of the role, for each of the staff members, including loaded rates. This is a very simplistic form. Obviously, it can be expanded, uh, and burden rates can be calculated differently depending on your business. Uh, then for equipment, same story. I have different kind of equipment that can be used uh, for this uh, uh, firm. Obviously, again, list can be longer. Uh, rates can be different depending on what kind of equipment in use. It can be rented, it can be leased, it can be um, acquired equipment. Uh, and then we have materials, uh, same idea. We have list of materials, you know, how they measure it, uh, unit cost, and how much is lost in process. Then I have activities uh, catalog, in essence, this explains uh, how much it's going to cost for each different activity, how many units of labor, equipment, and materials is required to complete the work. Then I have historical performance, this long file, it actually uh, a history, how much it was required to complete prior work. And then based on that, I have benchmarks that um, establish uh, kind of uh, uh, summarize averages. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, it's very important to make sure that this table is right and averages actually make sense. And uh, this can be confirmed by uh, someone who has experience in this area to make, uh, to see if it's consistent with uh, prior activities or it, it can be done even by finance people by looking at historical performance. And then all of it uh, flows into this step where uh, 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 someone who is doing pricing can enter, uh, can try to do it. So, you know, they choose activity code, activity name, uh, that's a lookup table. Then, you know, it measures, uh, how, um, unit of measurements and quantity. And from here, uh, someone who is using this template can enter, you know, different roles, equipment that is required, uh, estimate hours, uh, unit cost for, for everything pretty much. And what happens in the end, I know it's a very long table with lots of calculations, uh, different kind of formulas, but in the end, what's interesting, it gets us to a benchmark. And in bench, uh, this way, someone who is working on pricing activity can see whether what they did is aligned with historical performance or not, and then uh, make adjustments from, he from here. Obviously, this is a very simple table. It can be enhanced to add... Um, additional checks uh, and then uh, guide uh, a user uh, to make uh, changes to their priced activities to make sure that, you know, it makes sense and consistent with what happened in the past. Obviously, all this uh, <clears throat> input values like contingency, sales tax, I mean, they uh, also can be enhanced depending on uh, what kind of activity has been priced. So by default, it's just 0 five. But what the key ingredient in this exercise is this benchmark that helps uh, uh, users uh, to see what uh, to make sure that you know what they are doing is actually consistent with history. Thank you. Bye. If you have any questions, go to leisuresummit.com.